Hey friends, it's Marie Clark here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating today with the beautiful Honey Bee Stamps Everything Wonderful stamp set. It is so truly beautiful and has some really wonderful sentiments as well. And so I'm going to start off here with a piece of watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp out that beautiful floral image onto my watercolor paper with some embossing ink. And I'm going to do some heat embossing and some watercoloring here today with these lovely florals. And so I'm just going to put my watercolor paper into my Misty stamping tool. I'm going to treat the paper with a little bit of anti-static powder. And this is going to prevent my embossing powder from sticking to my paper where I don't want it. And so now I've just taken my stamp, I've put it on the door of the Misty and I've inked it up with some embossing ink that's just a really clear, sticky ink. And that will just serve to allow the embossing powder to stick to it. Now this embossing powder is some Wow Pearl Gold Sparkle embossing powder. It's super, super shimmery and shiny and I really love it. I think it's so pretty. So I'm just going to use my little Nouveau spoon here to spoon on some of that embossing powder. Then I'll take my heat tool and melt that embossing powder and you will just see it become so sparkly and shimmery and shiny as it melts and then creates the areas for me to apply my uh, watercolor. I'm going to be using the Art Philosophy Metallic Watercolors by Prima and I'm using a number two silver watercolor brush. What I'm doing for my method here is I'm just uh, adding some clear water to the areas where it's embossed and then I'm just taking the watercolor and dropping the color into those little areas where the heat embossing has created sort of like little pockets of enclosed areas that keep the water contained into the spots where you add it and then you just loosely add that uh, pigment in there and it's, it creates this really cool effect. I really love it. This is a super, super easy watercoloring technique. If you just want to do something that doesn't require much thought and is so relaxing, but creates just the most beautiful effect, this technique has that for you. It's super, super simple. So you're just going to see me continue to add that pigment in. And I use this exact same technique that you see here for all of the florals on this project and also the leaves and the little berries. So the only thing I'm going to change is the colors. So the leaves I'm gonna use kind of like that mint green color that's in my palette. The berries I'm going to use the aqua color and the smaller florals I'm going to use that yellow color. And I'm just speeding things up here a little bit and I'm just gonna let you watch me finish up with that large flower in this kind of towards the center of this uh, stamp and just going ahead and using that very same technique and if you want to do a little bit of a darker effect you just add a little bit more pigment less water and then if you want to lighten it well you just get a little bit more water on your brush and you have less pigment and that creates the lighter areas and if you have too much water on in your um, little areas you can just go in with a dry brush and sop up some of that extra water or you can even take a little bit of paper towel and dry up some of the liquid in that way as well. So just like really basic watercoloring. I really love the uh, pink and that mint color, that uh, color of green together. I think they're super pretty. And I was just going for just a really pastel soft spring look here with this um, project. Now I'm just showing you here the different colors I used from the palette for the different areas of my card. So just those four colors to create the color palette that I used today. I'm showing you where I used the yellows on those smaller flowers and then of course the blue on the berries and look at how shimmery this is. It's so pretty. Now I took the dye, the companion dye for this set and I uh, made a mask for my watercolored area because I wanted to do some splatters but I didn't want to get the splatters on my flowers and berries and leaves. So I'm just picking up some of that. It is kind of like a, a really neutral color on the palette. It's almost like a gold. And I wanted to just do some splatters with that. 
Now I'm taking a, kind of an aqua color card base. I'm, I have cut it down to A2 size and I've scored it. And now I'm just going to trim down my watercolor panel here so that it will fit on my card base with just leaving a little bit of a border of that aqua color all the way around. So I've trimmed up my paper with my Tim Holtz trimmer and now I'm just going to apply some foam adhesive to the back of this panel and add it to the front of my card base. I just want my card front to be a little bit dimensional and so this uh, foam adhesive is going to allow that. I really love how this looks when it's all adhered. And now I just wanted to go ahead and add some details like a sentiment. So I'm looking at the sentiments in the stamp set and there's a couple here that I could use that just fit perfectly into that little area where there's some uh, white space. I'm going to add this stamp sentiment which says you're the best onto my card front. Now I'm not going to add it on a separate piece of cardstock or anything. I'm just going to stamp it right onto my card front. So I'm going to put my card base right back into my Misty. I've placed the stamp onto the door of the Misty. I've stamped it up with some Versafine uh, Claire in Nocturne ink and this is just a really nice crisp black ink. I do end up putting some clear embossing powder over that and heating it. I don't show that on camera but that just makes that sentiment pop a little bit more um, and look a little bit more dimensional and it is very bold on this card but I'm totally okay with that. I think it just adds some really neat contrast. Now I went into my stash of sequins and I'm going to add, these are from I think um, Lucy's Cards and it's actually a shaker mix and what I really like about it is it's got stars and hearts and a bunch of different really cool little gems and all kinds of things in it and I wanted to just add a little bit of more dimension and interest to my card using these different little bits. So I've taken my Marvy, um jewel picker here. I'm going to use that to help me pick up the sequins. I'm going to put down some of my Nouveau Crystal Glaze as my glue and also use my tweezers to help me um, get the, the gems and the sequins and such off of my jewel picker and in that way get everything all stuck down to embellish my card and I really love how this looks when it's all finished. I think it looks really interesting and it just adds that extra little bit of pizzazz to finishing off a card. Do you know that I think one of my favorite, favorite things, my favorite parts of a card making process is this part where you get to just like you know freestyle and look at all of the different little embellishments and things that you can use to finish your card up. I love this part. I mean I love the whole process let's be honest but I really love this part where you get to just sort of like look at all the things you you might have and then just embellish away. So then I just took a little bit of gold twine from my stash and added that onto the side and my card's finished. Please make sure that you check the links in the description box below to the Honeybee Stamp Shop and all of the different items that I use to create my card today. Um, Honeybee has I think one of the most amazing bunch of supplies and products that you can find in this industry and I always love what I can find in, in the Honey Bee Stamp Shop. So make sure you check that out. Check the links in the description box below and have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.